Welcome back to the Yamajack. We got nuked Gunslinger Suicidal. No water. We have no water today. I did not fill my water bottle up. I mean, I did. But in the, like, hour that I had to spend getting it set up for recording, I drank the water. And now I have no more water left. Despite that I had my fan on for the time that I drank the water. And now I don't have a fan on, and I'm kind of hot, and I really wish I had some water. Because I'm sweating a lot. When you sweat a lot and you get that heat, you need to drink water. You gotta stay hydrated. I want to talk about uh, the plans that I have for D&D so badly, because I know, uh, like, uh, I talk about D&D a lot, but it's a big part of my life um, as, a, as a DM. It's, uh, it takes up a lot of uh, a lot of time in my life, and, and if I'm going to ramble, then what else am I going to ramble about other than the things that I'm doing, which is largely D&D. Um, I want to talk about it, but the, the session just keeps getting put off. So uh, now it's to, to Saturday, as I think I talked about, uh, not in the last episode, but in some episode prior to it. Perhaps the previous episode to the one previous to this one. I don't know. I talked about it at some point. It's on Saturday now, though, I believe. Did I talk about it? I don't know, man. Saturday, probably? Anyway, whether you knew it or you didn't, it's probably Saturday. We'll see. Uh, unless something comes up on Friday, which it could. Saturday is a... Uh, Tentative? Is that Have the word? Tentative plan? It's a tentative... I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh... So hopefully it goes on Saturday because I'd really like to be able to record, but since it's not really a set in stone kind of thing here, I can't record like even the ones... Like I have to record after Saturday. I can't record on Friday one video that's going to go up on Saturday and then uh, and then talk about it. Because actually two of my players are watching the... Uh, the, the KF2 videos at this point. I don't know if they're both watching all of them, but um, whether they're they're good viewers or not, they do they do they are viewers. Everybody matters a little. Just some people matter more than you. I'm kidding. <laughs> Mostly. Um. Yeah, you shoot yourself. Uh. So yeah, I've got two two of my players watch. So. Uh, like, I can't really talk about the D&D stuff when uh, when it hasn't happened yet. I can't talk about my, my glorious plans, which I really wish I could. And then, uh, like, one thing that I really want to talk about isn't going to happen for a few more sessions. So it's going to be, like, a, probably a month or two until the uh, the thing that I'm super excited about uh, having happen happens. And then I can finally talk about it. So it's like, I, just, I got it bottled up, and I'm talking to my sister about it, but... I mean, she doesn't really care. And uh, she tells me that <laughs> whenever I try to talk to her. She's like, I'll tell her a story about something. She'll be like, I don't care. I'm like, I know, I just want to talk about it. She's like, fine. I'm like, yeah, there you go. You just got to sit there and <clears throat> listen to me talk about the thing you don't care about. It's not about you caring about it. It's me. Mo it's about me wanting to talk about it. There's a, there's a difference. It's, uh, it's important to, to recognize that difference. Mind you, I talk a lot, so I'm not, I'm not throwing her under the bus here. I talk a lot, and my stuff is mostly unimportant, so I don't blame her. But, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I definitely talk to her about it a little bit. But there's only so much you can talk about, right? Like, at a certain point, you're just... You've, you've talked about D&D too much. I can go on for hours about the plans that I have and the things that I want to do and, like, how I want to torture my players and the various schemes I've come up to kill them in the most brutal methods possible. But, you know, at a certain point, people just get bored of that, right? You, go. you know, I, I could talk about the... all of the plans I have, and... you know, I could talk about all this stuff, but... after you talk about it so much, it's, uh... You know, it's like when you say the word, you know, toilet too many times, it stops, it stops seeming like a word, and you're like, well, what the heck's a toilet? Why are you putting these letters together? And, uh... You know, kind of like that. So at a certain point, like, I don't even know what D&D is anymore. Is D&D a thing? Do you play D&D? I don't know. All I know is the sound it makes when it kills a man. <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, I love the ragdoll figure. I said, uh, when when they get shot and they get stunned and then they get that ragdolliness and they just kind of like plop to the ground. Oh, uh, it's so good! It's so good. It's not ragdoll, but like rigid, right? I don't know. Whatever it's called, they just kind of like and then fall, and I love it. It's one of the greatest things in this game, in my opinion. And my opinion matters a lot because I have, uh, I have, I have played it a lot. I don't know, I've got like 590 hours in it or 490 hours in this game now. It's like a lot of hours, right? It's a lot of KF2. I mean, every four episodes is an hour, so I've got 50 hours or so on camera at least. At least. Which is kind of crazy that that's not even 10% of my uh, my total time played because uh, these days anyway I, I only play it on camera and yet uh, the the time played on camera doesn't come. It'll come up eventually. We'll catch up. We not really catch up, but you know it's uh, eventually we'll have like like the difference is pretty much not going to get bigger, right? So the uh, the percentage is just going to get smaller and smaller. It's going to approach zero. It's never going to get there though. It will never get there because you know it can't. I've already played the game off camera. Not all of my time in the game can be on camera. All of my time these days is on camera, but that's not uh, too much in the grand scheme of things. I want to kill you with this, okay? Because I just, I feel like it. It's a fun gun. It's a very fun gun. I was worried I wouldn't even have my, uh, my DLC weapons when I, um, when I, when with the steam outage, that I, when it came back, I wouldn't even have them anymore, because I lost some stuff, for sure. Um, there's a little bit of a rollback, even. There was a slight rollback. I was still on my, uh, my Berserker. Level 17 Berserker. So whenever we played that, we got rolled back to that point, which uh, wasn't that far. I think we lost maybe like a demo level or two, um, but whatever, it's all good. Doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Maybe we didn't, and it just like auto set to the, the Berserker. I don't know, really. Doesn't really matter. I'm unperturbed. Didn't lose anything important, right? So. That's what matters. This cat's back in the game. So oh, to see the sunlight once more. <sighs> I uh, I've been doing a lot of bossing in uh, in RuneScape. For the past few days, it's been like non-stop PVM for me. Still working on maxing. We're not having the RuneScape videos coming out, but um, still working on maxing. And uh, I just I got distracted with a lot of PVM, and I went and, like. 700 or 800 kills dry at Vindicta without getting a single lance and then uh, just yesterday we did uh, three hours of uh, PDM in the clan and uh, at Greg we got three essences and uh, and a pet and then in the next hour also at Greg we got uh, a crest Two offhand glaives, a main hand glaive, and uh, then in uh, in the other Vindy hour, we got uh, a lance and a crest. So in total, it ended up being like probably about 200 mil worth of uh, of drops, just kind of split amongst like five people in the clan. So it was uh, it was quite a. Uh, <laughs> It was, it was, it, that kind of luck is, is unheard of. Like, you normally get a drop every, like, one drop in those three hours would have been like, yeah, those are pretty good hours there. Like, we did pretty good. To get, like, ten drops is just insane. Um, but I finally got a lance in my name, so I have two lances and 2,800 kills or whatever, which feels good. Finally. The drop rate is, like, one in 250, so, like, I was really, I was really dry. Um, so I'm back to maxing finally. 
But it's been, uh, it's been good fun. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.